How's it going, YouTubers? And also, how's it going, Russian fanatics? Russian fanatics, are you getting pumped up for WrestleMania? WrestleMania weekend, if you're gonna be there live in living color. I cannot believe it. It's gonna be WrestleMania before you know it. Well, I'm sort of getting excited. I think I'll get more excited when I landed in Orlando, you know what I'm saying? And right now, I just cannot believe I'm actually going, you know? Now, I know overall this whole card is not the greatest, but you gotta think positive and maybe, just maybe, something big will happen on this show. You never know. Like, off the record, no one, and I mean no one thought HBK, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Mick Foley will be in the arena last year. That was a great moment and great buzz, you know? They squash um, their opponents. Actually, it was not real opponents, but you know what I'm saying. But something might happen this year at WrestleMania. You never know, and that'll be part of it. That'd be a holy shit kind of moment. I like how W does this kind of stuff. Anyway, there's another match I'm going to discuss for Mania, and it is for the Intercontinental Championship. Okay? Dean Ambrose had the IC belt for a while now. It seemed like he hardly defends it, but it's not his fault. It's the creators, okay? They don't know what to do with the IC belt. Now, this is the first time in a long time that there is no um, stipulation. Like, what, three years in a row, the IC belt is above the ring in a ladder match. Thank God, I got tired of it, you know? So, it's going to be a one on one match, no more match, but we won't. We never know. Maybe the last week, you know, before Mania, you know, next Tuesday, they might have a stipulation. Who knows? I think this whole storyline, it's okay. I'm not really feeling it. I guarantee we'll have a new Intercom champion. Or maybe not. You know? Probably some people are kind of disappointed that Dean Ambrose is not... Um, the W champion going to Mania, but things had changed over the months. Um, you know, stuff happened. You know, do you think Dean Ambrose will ever be W champion again? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe W just gives up on him and they just give him the belt. Maybe because they feel sorry for him back in the day, or they just want to give him the one time only WWE Championship glory hey I think he's pretty decent I mean he's not the best WWE Champion that we ever had but that's just my theory and he's pretty decent as the IC Champion I mean he's not the best Intercom Champion it's very hard to get a very good Champion, you know, especially in this PG bullcrap, you know. I think W needs to bend the rules a little bit, you know. But um, I think this Burian Corbin, he sucks. I don't give a darn what anybody says. It is taking a long time that W is pushing him, you know. He was in these stupid, pathetic um, storylines. He facing what Kalisa Gore or whatever his blessed name is. He was in this Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Whoopie doo! Did that make him a mega superstar? Mm, no. He was in NXT. I did not follow NXT at all back in the day or now. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't judge me at all. You know? Maybe he will be. Better use if he was in the R ROH or any other independent uh, company. You know, if he does not win the gold here, I mean, yeah, 
I mean, you should, should, should just quit the damn company because I don't think W will ever, and not be repeat ever, will give him the main strap on SmackDown brand. If he's on Raw, he will definitely will get mixed up in the shuffle. I mean, I could be right, I could be wrong, or maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm just trying my best. I just don't feel him, you know, feel his vibe on SmackDown. You know, I don't know if he's not really putting a lot of effort on the SmackDown brand, or I don't know what to say really anymore. The Lone Wolf. I mean, the gimmick is pretty neat, but he's not really feeling fitting the bill of his character, you know. Now, Dean Ambrose, he felt. He, sorry, I don't know why I'm spitting. I'm sorry. Don't judge me because I screwed up there. Um, Dean Ambrose fits the bill as a s lunatic. It makes sense. It fits him very unique. And a lot of people don't like the Dean Ambrose gimmick. I like it. You know, Dean Ambrose has a lot of unique uh, feuds. The Y2J feud. The one last year was a total train wreck. Him and Brock. I think Dean Ambrose should have won that match. But that's just my theory. I thought it would be a better match. But I know I'm going a little overboard. A lot of people don't want to hear my th theories from last year's Mania. Um, let's, see, let's, see, let's find out if these two... The superstars will get their WrestleMania moments. Have a good one. All my social media accounts are down below. And don't forget to subscribe. If you want to know when is my newest video. If you have a blast of phone. And also, if you have free Wi-Fi or paid for data, don't forget to get a notification then you get brand new videos on my um, YouTube channel there you go have a good one and I will be back I don't know when I will be back thanks for watching once again peace out later Gators